We are in the fade, and the fade takes forever. The fade is in fact such a pain in the ass that there are mods which knock this portion of the game out of the game, so you don't have to play it. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No, I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. Yes, what now? I don't know. This place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. It's not too late, I'm sure. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path but be unable to get to it, and it taunts you and drives you mad. Could my companions be on one of these islands? I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the island, if you're lucky. Tell me about the protective ward. I don't know much. I, uh, I think the sloth demon has placed lesser demons on each of the islands. I've seen them. They take different shapes, but they're there. Defeating them may be the only way to reach the sloth demon. But you have to get to them first. I... Uh, I couldn't. I was too afraid to try. You mentioned the obstacles before. Yes. Obstacles and mad dream things. A river of flame before a portal, or a, a door that shows you freedom through a keyhole that no key will fit. I once found a passageway smaller than my hand with a mouse going to and fro through it. The silly thing fled before I could question it. Why would you talk to a mouse? Because almost everyone here is a dreamer. Except for the spirits and the demons, I suppose. Each dreamer may know things another may not. The mouse could have told me what lay beyond the tiny passage or how to get there. Even how I might make myself small like him and crawl through myself. And if one could become small enough to take one path, perhaps there are similar ways to walk the others. What do you know about the Sloth Demon? Not much. You couldn't say we were friends, really. Demons have their own hierarchies. They play their own games and mortals serve as... pawns, perhaps even bargaining chips. The demon keeping us here probably rules this entire section of the Fade. It'll not let us go easily, if at all. If we work together, we can escape. Nothing dampens your spirit, does it? I don't know whether to admire or pity you. I'll be back. Don't mind me, then. The Fade is sort of like the dream dimension of this world. As you say. Time to kill! Oh, it's the mouse. Well, saved his ass. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door. A door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my... Okay. Despite not being a mage, we can assume mouse form. We can uh, shapeshift just like Morgan. We're only going to be able to do it in the fade.
um, the Fade is the sort of dream world of of the world of Dragon Age. Whereas, when like when a person goes to sleep, this is where their mind goes. Now, like mages and all that kind of stuff, they are susceptible to the demonic sort of invasion that you find when in this world. I got me some lyrium. And it is somewhere in the fade, which is said where the, uh, oh, time to kill, that where the, the concept of the golden city was, which is corrupted into the black city or the dark city or something city, which is where the, the dark spawn and the arch demons and all that kind of stuff came from. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, next pathway. Now I imagine the majority of the people entering the Fade through their dreams have nothing to fear from it. Mages, on the other hand, do have a problem being here. And since we were sort of sucked in here through a sloth demon, we uh, uh, we have a lot to worry about. Now, the other guy that we encountered seems to have just been a person who was pulled in here before himself. So. And who knows how long some of these people could have been here. It would suck uh, to be stuck in the fade for so long that your body dies. So even if you could escape the dimension, you are basically going to be trapped there because you, there's no you to return to. Pain in the ass. Something happened, didn't it? You look a little different. What happened? I became a mouse. Did you? Did it help? I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? I thought you'd given up. Why so excited? I... I don't know. You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise. Alright, we got the mouse form. And that can allow us to... That can allow us to jump from area to area. No, not going that way. Crawling through holes. Now we're going to have to go and get some other forms to get through the specific barriers. It is begun. I shall do it. No, we're already here. Shit. There's gotta be a mouse hole around here, though. Nah, it's just the same damn one I was in before. It shall be done. How about Lyrium? Yeah, I've done I've been through here before, come on now. As you say. I shall do it.
Moving on. The Burning Tower. Oh boy. Looks like I'm in the Tower of the Magi, but there's no roof and everything's on fire. Of course, it is all just some sort of illusion. Enemies approaching! Okay, mouse hole. 